Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of the How to Make a Five Nights at Freddy's 2 game tutorial in Scratch. So, last time, if you were here, you would have saw that we created just this little nice little title screen with some static. See our main character. Character, excuse me, we'll do some little bit of some twitching like he's on crack or something. <laughs> Look at him. Then you hit play, the button goes away. What we're going to set up today is for sure we're going to start off with the night screen something that will display which night you're on so before we start anything we're going to make a variable i'm just going to rename this one and we're going to call it night number there we go and then what i'm going to do is right underneath this actually let's do it let's do it in some separate thing make a new sprite call this the night screen now what we'll do right off the bat is we will set up what the night screens will look like so let's say i want it like this we grab some pixels and we ride night one okay so night one okay now you see this goes to zero zero all's good i'll duplicate it and just change that one to a two duplicate to a three Duplicate to a four to a five. If you want to do your secret six night, and then your custom night is always the seventh night. There we go. Now you have all of your night screens laid out. Again, if you want to make them look nicer, please gladly go ahead and do that. So, what we need to set up here is in this night screen tab. We're going to do our when green flag. We're going to do our custom one. I'll zoom in so you can see. What we will do is we will start off by hiding this sprite. And then we will set our night number to one because you will always start a night one when the green flag is clicked. Now you might be saying, well, what if we want to go to the next night? Don't worry, we're gonna have a whole saving system set up, all that kind of thing. So don't worry about that. Just make sure you always set it to night one when the green flag is clicked. Now. In this play button, you see we have this night screen that we set up right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up something for when we receive the night screen. So when we receive night screen, and before we do anything else, we're going to make a new sprite, and we're going to call this fade. Now all you're going to need to do here is take a black square and just make a black square that will cover the whole screen. Go ahead and save. And then in this fade button, or in this fade sprite, you want when the green flag is clicked to hide it. Okay, what we'll do now is in our play button, we are going to make a broadcast before night screen, calling it fade, okay? Now the reason we're going to call it fade and not broadcast this on a night screen is so we can use fade over and over and over and over and over again. So here we go. When we receive fade, right? what we do is we set the ghost effect. So we can do set, change color to ghost, set ghost effect to zero. Then what we can do is repeat maybe 10 times. We can mess around with this. Change your ghost effect by 10. Because 10 times 10 is 100. Okay. And what you can do is wait one second. Duplicate what we have here. Get rid of the weight. Repeat 10 times. And change your ghost by negative 10. And then hide it. So what will happen is when you press the play button. Ah, we should probably have this. So don't forget to, to always show and go to front layer when fade is created so hit the play button that was very quick so let's do this instead repeat 20 times change ghost effect by oh my goodness change ghost effect by 5 20 negative 5 maybe that'll be a bit not as ah that's probably why static static so what we can do is when i receive fade in our static just go ahead and just go ahead and hide it. So we have a little thing. Click it. Hmm. That's a bit odd. Oh, I know why. I'm dumb. We set the ghost effect to 100. Negative 5. 5. Because obviously if it's at 100, it'll be invisible. Okay, now let's take a look. Now let's take a look. You can probably actually get rid of this hide thing on the static maybe. Yeah, look at that. No, no, static even stays ahead of it. You see, it fades, and it'll come back. 
which is what we want. So, right here now what we can do is when I receive night screen, we can wait 0.3 seconds, because that should be about how much time it takes for the fade to go. And then what we will do is we will have it go to 00. zero. We will have it show and switch its costume to our night number, which is why we wanted it set to one, because it equals one, so it'll switch the costume to one, and one is our night one. Makes sense? If it doesn't, I promise it will. So we hit play. Okay, a little quick on the showing up. A little quick on showing up, because we saw it. So maybe set this to 0 0.4. Fiddle around with this number until you get it so that it looks like a smooth transition. But let's click it. Oop, it still shows up, still shows up, still shows up. A little weird, a little weird. 3.5. And then here, we'll also, we will add this. When I receive fade. Yeah, no, let's just try this. When I receive fade, just hide. I have a little bit choppy, but it does look really weird. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. Let's say, wait, 0 0.5 seconds as well. Let's see if that looks better. A little bit. This still needs to wait longer. 0 0.6 maybe? It's a lot of trial and error with this stuff, with this animation looking kind of things. There, that looks much nicer. This is night one. There we go, look at that. Night one. Now what we can do is we can even say, right here, it'll sit on that screen maybe for two seconds, right? And then what we can do is we can broadcast fade again, right? broadcast fade again and then we can wait a 0 0.6 seconds again and then just hide the night screen go ahead and save let's take a look see what happens click it, it says night one okay little maybe not enough time maybe say four seconds and see what happens see how that looks hit play night one And now this is where it would normally transition to the office. So there is your night screen setup. Let's take a look and see if we start the game and then set our night to five. What happens when we hit play? It says night five. A nice little fade. Again, you can mess around with these interval numbers and stuff like that. You can obviously make your code look much nicer to look at all that not code excuse me your art look much nicer to look at but this is the general gist of how you would do it so this is a bit of a shorter episode but i just wanted to get it out there because next time we should be focusing on our office so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it then like it and if you didn't like it like it anyways because more tutorials in this series coming soon while you're right i want to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content that would help me out a lot and while you're down there why not check out my socials which are in the link in the description not like in the description which are in the description uh, maybe you'll find something else i do online that you find enjoyable join discord link is in the description thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace <laughs>